What's up? Welcome back to the channel. Andrew here, and I am at Winter Park Golf Course once again. Uh, it's like saying hello to an old friend, even though I've only played it once. I fell in love with this golf course the first time I came out here. If you don't recall, I came out here in January when I was down for the PGA show, played with Joe Therapy, and uh, showed a little bit of the golf course, but not shot for shot. So I'm by myself. I'm down here working in Orlando this week. I'm gonna go play all nine holes, take you around every single shot. You're gonna see just how beautiful this short little course is right in the middle of the city. And you're also gonna see just how diabolical these greens are. So enough talk, let's go play nine. Look at this clean scorecard. Every detail is just awesome here. 2,480 yards, par 35. This is a 241 yard par four. Nice. Okay, so it's actually playing 225 to the flag. Literally perched on the back edge of this green when I drove in. So I'm just gonna kind of hit a soft four iron in the front of the green. Here you go. You can see what I was talking about with these diabolical greens. Look at that. I mean, I hit right there. Trickled back a little bit. There we go. Pin is up there and literally a few paces to the right of it, gone. A few paces over the green, gone. Just how fun is this though? Like so freaking cool. Like nothing else. Just like a time capsule almost. yard par four. Nice par. 137. Little wind helping. Anywhere but that front bunker. It's like a couple feet. Every green out here. Look at the slope on this. You know, you're down there. Bye bye. Pretty flatter back there, but if you go long, <laughs> it's trickling severely down. Look at this thing here. A little elephant's hump there. I mean, with the right pins, you can hit it really close, but if you miss the green, you have. Oh, shoot, there's, there's a bunker back there. Man, tricky stuff. Pretty time. Third hole here is a 430 yard par five. And the reason why this golf course is so short, it was built in 1914. So it's 106 years old. So just imagine a hundred years ago playing this golf course and dealing with these greens with the, you know, the old stuff they used back then. It's, it's actually kind of special to have like a bit of a, a relic left over from back in the day. I went with three wood because I don't want to mess with the road and just have a mid iron in. Okay, that was pretty crappy, but not on the road. For here, I've got like 195 to it, probably about 175 to the front of the green, so. I gotta hit something kind of high, low, high, cutting. Just going with a seven iron and try to get it up on the green, if not in front of it, and hopefully make a birdie. Caught that tree, slipped, I don't know, for like 50 yards from the green, maybe. 
All right, you see the divot. I'm having a lot of technical difficulties with my camera since the screen is broken. I hit a decent shot to land. It looked like right beside the hole, but it looks like there was a new slope there. I spit my ball all the way to the back. So let's go inspect. So here's our third green. A little less slope than the first two. Just that stuff behind. But I think my shot hit like right on this downslope and just scooted hard away from the flag. So now I've got that for birdie on a 430 yard par five. Just a fraction off with a shot here, and there's just no room for error, it seems. So, a great par on a short, short, short hole. <laughs> so here's the story for this one. 495 yard par five around the cemetery. It's probably the, fir it's the first time I'm comfortable hitting driver out here. If you, you want to take it right over that bunker, you can bite off the cemetery because the green's about there. But uh, we'll just aim it. Over the bunker, if I pull it, great. Not. All right. Aim up and out of it. Not gonna hurt me. Okay. Where do you see this green? Yeah, we got a front pin. Thankfully, makes this shot a little bit easier rush this thing at 195 so I'm just gonna go with six iron if I do leave it a little short it's better than anything long or middle of the screen lost a little left Let's see when we get up there friggin sprinklers see this thing I lost it a little left. Maybe I jumped on it because of the sprinkler. You can land it around there, kick back here. I have to hit it up and over this. Can't hit it past the flag because it'll be off the green. When I played the first time, I hit a great six iron to a back left pin right in the middle of the green down there. <laughs> nice par. So this is just really awesome once again. Man, we worked hard for that one. Holy cow. Okay, this one's 354 on the card, but it looks like that back tee they don't use anymore. 324 to the flag, it looks like it's all the way back. And if you can't tell, it's like 100 degrees out here. Florida humidity. It's uh, hot. I'm gonna give this a crack, try to get close to the green, if not on. Tons of room, right? Got the train coming through. Okay, it didn't draw, but we're all right. Okay, got a little interesting one. This is one of the flatter greens on the course, but over here, you can't quite see it because of the tree. There's a ridge and then it's and uh not go long. Okay, I can slice a little sand wedge underneath that uh, branch. Into that slope and hopefully kill it because again, I can't mess with long at all. At all. hung up. It almost went in, but it barely stayed up. I was talking about, look at this little shelf right here. 
and you got a down slope. So I've had to pitch it kind of off that down slope and let this up slope kill it. I had a little more room than I thought, thankfully, because long, you can see, everything will trickle off. Over on that side, everything will trickle off. So this thing almost went in, but I thought it was gonna trickle away, but thankfully, it didn't. I hit a good putt, damn it. Six hole, it's 262 on the card, but you can see the flag through the trees there. 232 right to the flag. Green is kind of a uh, kidney shape, but the first time I played it was over on the left. This time you gotta go right at it, probably hit a three iron over the trees. Right is the place to miss because left brings that bunker into play, right just that old fifth hole. I hit it left. Oh, that's gonna be such a hard up and down. So yeah, I was kind of preoccupied with the height over the trees. I kind of flipped it. So I'm over here. Pins over here, great. But you can see this green, some crazy slopes. It's actually kind of flat over there. But I gotta hoist this thing up pretty quickly, land it in front of the hole, and hope it lands softly. Yeah, this green is another really Really fun one. Just a couple yards, not enough, and you saw it kick right. Gone a couple yards further, probably would have kicked forward. <laughs> the numbers on the card don't obviously don't do it justice for how tricky this golf course is, but man, it's a lot of fun. test so much like it's gonna test your iron play because you gotta be so precise and then your short game has to be immaculate out from the back so cannot 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 go long I think I'll just punch a seven iron to make sure I don't get back there because eight iron I think will just be not enough watch this watch this thing kick left It could be the wildest green out here. I missed it actually in the right spot. Kind of knew that from the first time. You cannot go in this bunker because there's no chance of stopping that. Get that thing up there. And then we have a ridge up here and everything kind of funnels back off the back, side back in that bunker. It's a relatively easy pitch I left myself with. No, I'll take it. I missed it in the right spot. Thanks. All right, 139. This is kind of like the punch bowl hole. And we have the pin that is in the punch bowl. You can see this guy just letting balls trickle down. So anything right of this flag will trickle down to it. And that's what we're trying to do and see if we can't make one. I hit it left a bit. Dead pin high left of it. You dummy. False front. So if I didn't have enough club, dead. Obviously you want to put it up there to the right and see, you know, see it come down because that's cool. But if you happen to leave it up there and miss right, you're dead. That's bogey. Relatively flat over there, but again, can't go long, can't go left. Wasn't as cool a shot, but I'll take it. Got the camera up here how much slope there is. Like I could hit this putt up back. Yeah, Drew, okay, we're in with three. Now we're gonna have a little bit of fun. I'm 
gonna try that putt up the hill with that. Just think, if you hit your iron shot in, I mean, it's not, it's actually hard to hit that thing close. So, we're okay. We made three, pretty boring, but we're all right. Front pin, protected by that bunker, and that bunker, this green is pretty wild as well. So if I'm gonna miss, I wanna miss right where he is, or a little long, but I'm just gonna go with five iron, try to hit it close. like 10 feet per eagle, let's go. Kind of see a little worm's eye view of this green. I got quite lucky, I mean I hit a really good shot. It landed on the green just right of this bunker and it released right as opposed to, you know, a little bounce left, it could have gone down there. Over there is a great place to leave it. When I played it was a back pin. So you can see up there, pretty tricky. Can't go long, can't go left. So I got a nice look at eagle here to finish off this little day at Winter Park. <laughs> what a way to finish with a deuce. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I did playing. I mean, that took an hour and five minutes. It was $15, and look at the pureness of this condition. So if you're in the Orlando area, I mean, you gotta come out here. I know they have some fun games here on like Friday nights and some other nights. I wish I lived closer because I'd come more often. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, and uh, see you in the next video. Peace.